What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Boy from Bloodshot Records, also from Dark Star Films over on YouTube, where I do videos, movies, films, all that shit. But one thing that I've been noticing that's been going around that I have been noticing a lot more, you know, now that I'm starting to get out there. You know, not only, you know, music-wise, but film-wise, with my newest release of Overheat Redline Run, which I did through GTA's video editor. Thank you, GTA. Love you guys for that. But like, as you guys know, I took part of that movie, made it into a music video for my little brother, Ian, and his music. And then right after that, I dropped the full-length film as promo for, you know, the music video. I used them to promote each other. But one thing I'm really getting tired of is motherfuckers up on YouTube, on here, and basically everywhere. Like, and this just, this just doesn't happen with my films or my videos. This happens with, you know, everything from my artwork, my music, everything. Like, I'm tired of motherfuckers always stealing my shit and trying to make me look like a fucking fraud. Everything I do is my own. What people don't realize is that I have friends up on YouTube that like to post my stuff around. Wait, like just because I decided to take my shit back and post it on my shit does not make me a fraud. Like just because I go and steal back a video that's originally mine, that don't make me a fraud. I'm just protecting my shit. Because one thing that a lot of motherfuckers don't know for a lot of you out there that want to steal my shit, what you guys don't realize is I've got all my shit copywritten. So everything with Dark Star Films, anything to do with my music, with the name Shadowblade, Virus Beats, Alchemist Beats, anything like that, anything, anything that I post with my name on it pertaining to any of my stuff, I have all the rights to. All right? I keep all my stuff properly protected. Through copyrighted.com. That's where I go through to copyright my stuff. I pay for, you know, I think like, I think it's like 10, 12 bucks for a year, something like that. But I do pay money to have my stuff protected and copywritten. I have the fucking certificates to prove it, which I will be getting printouts of here very shortly. In the very near future, I will be getting printouts of that to post up. To show you guys that I do have copyrights to all my stuff. So to the dude Michael who I just blocked for trying to, you know, falsely expose me. And to everybody else out there that thinks y'all can get away with trying to jack my stuff from me. Just because you guys think that I'm a, that I'm weak. That you guys can just go and take advantage of me. You're wrong. You ain't ever going to take advantage of me. Because I got my stuff copywritten. So you guys want to steal my shit, go ahead. All I got to do is show up to court, show them the paperwork that I do own all the rights to all the stuff that I post up. That's all I got to do. And then your ass is going to be paying me money. So yeah, unless you motherfuckers want to see my ass in court, I suggest y'all stop this shit. Y'all need to stop trying to take my artwork and expose me for being a fraud and just point out stop. Like, you know, stop trying to make me out to be a thief and a fraud. Like, that shit's getting annoying. You know, I've got fucking music to do. i got a film career that I'm working on slowly. You know, I just released a, my first ever full-length film for Halloween last year in October, which is The Darkness, which I know a lot of you guys enjoyed. And then just because I decided to go and do a full-length animated movie through GTA 5 and their video editor. If you guys don't know, GTA <clears throat> GTA 5 did just recently release a couple brand new modes, which is director mode and the Rockstar video editor, which allows you to make movies within the GTA game of film, which is pretty cool. Like you can take your characters, whatever characters you have, whether it be a custom GTA online character or whatever, and you can make really cool movies. 
So I did that and I based it off of, you know, the Fast and the Furious series along with another really good racing movie that I actually seen a while ago, which is called Red Line. It's a really good, you know, really good movie. If you haven't watched it, look it up on YouTube. I definitely suggest it for any car enthusiast out there who's into racing movies. You know, definitely check out Red Line. It's a very good movie, actually. But, you know, point being, I'm tired of people trying to expose me as being a fraud when I'm not. You know, everything I do, I put my heart and soul into. Everything I do, I bust my ass on. You know, I just get done with one battle. And then I have to fucking go against my best friend who my ex turned against me. As if that's not bad enough. Now I got motherfuckers up on my Facebook trying to expose me as being a fraud when I'm not. Like, what the fuck? Like, what do you guys gain out of that? That's what I don't understand. What do you guys gain out of trying to make me out to be a fraud? Yeah, you might get some of my shit, but what does that do for you? What do you plan on doing with that? Selling it for money? You ain't going to get nothing out of it. Because they're going to be able to trace that all right back to me. And, yeah, you, you're basically going to be fucked. And as you guys know, motherfuckers have ways of altering YouTube. Like, they do have ways of altering YouTube to where they can change the timestamps on shit. Which is how a lot of these people are getting away with what they're doing to me. They're going in and they're changing these timestamps to a different date to make it look like they uploaded it to a certain day when really they didn't even upload it except for like maybe a couple seconds before that. I'm not stupid. I know how that shit works. Reason why is because I've had to go into YouTube myself, retake back my shit, and go back in and change timestamps on shit. I've had to go back and change that shit back to the original stuff. That's how I know about that. But y'all motherfuckers that are up here trying to take my stuff, Making me look like a bad guy. Making me look like a fraud and a fake and a phony. That shit needs to stop. Like, you know, everything I do is my own. And y'all act like you're going to get away with it, but you're not. Because I stay on top of my game. I stay on my shit. But for you assholes out there that want to steal from me. And think y'all can victimize me. You're wrong. I will not be victimized. Nor will I be torn. And nor will I be stolen from. Anything I see of mine, I don't give a fuck if it's my artwork, my music, my films, or what. I don't care. Anything I see that is mine, I am taking back. I am not giving any more fucks about what y'all got to say against me. You guys should sit there, say I'm a fraud, say I'm this, say I'm that, saying, you know, why do I got to steal this and that, blah, blah, blah. Fact of the matter is, everything I post up is my own. Plain and simple. Everybody knows it. And so, as I said, you guys want to steal my shit? Go ahead. I'll just steal it right back, and I'll call you out on the shit. I've already done it before. I got no problem doing it again. I'm tired of being stolen from. I'm tired of being made out to be a liar. I'm tired of being made out to be this person that Everybody's starting to believe that I am, which I'm not. I'm not a liar. I'm not a fake. And I'm not a fraud. And I'm sure it's fucking phony. Like, you know, I'm just doing the right thing and defending my work. And if y'all can't accept that, then, you know, that's on you. But for you punk motherfuckers out there that want to steal from me, it ain't happening. Sorry. I'm not one that you guys can just walk all over. I guarantee you, I see my shit stolen from, I'm taking it right back, and I'm not giving two fucks. So like I said, go ahead and steal from me. Watch what happens. Watch what fucking happens. I guarantee you, I see my shit stolen. I will take it back, 
and I will call your asses out. I'm done being stolen from, and I'm done being victimized by you assholes. Game over. I'm done. But to all my supporters, I fucking love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, if you guys don't know, I am working on stuff with my brother Marcus. We have some really, really cool, really cool stuff coming up for you guys. Um, I can't tell you much about it other than it's a whole new genre and a whole new sound of music that you guys have never heard before. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, my album will be dropping soon. I know I've been talking about it for weeks. But I promise you guys that my brand new rock album will be dropping very, very soon. Within like the next few weeks, I just got to get the site together. Reason why I haven't had the chance to get the website together yet is because of the fact I've been dealing with all this other bullshit with the cops and my ex and trying to get all that shit, you know, done and taken care of so I ain't got to worry about it. But now that I got a little more time on my hands and I'm not dealing with that, I will be able to sit down, get the official Shadowblade website back up and running, you know, full time. So I will be releasing all my music onto there from now on. Um, the rock album will now be on Spotify as because, you know, how a lot of distributors are. They don't like you to use samples or anything like that, so... Unfortunately, this album won't be for release on Spotify, but you guys can still check it out on my official website where you guys can go in there, buy it, listen to it, you know, whatever, jam out to it. You know, take it, put it on a CD, pop it in your car while you're driving down the road and just jam to it. Um, but my dubstep stuff will be still being released onto Spotify and all that, so you guys can expect some cool stuff coming up from that. But uh, with that being said, guys, I'm about to hop off here because later on today, actually probably within like a few hours or so, I am going to be sitting down and I am going to be putting out a really, really cool show for you guys. It's actually going to be a cover show, but it's going to be in support of a lot of stuff that I've been working on as well as a lot of bands that I've gotten to know. So I will be doing a pretty cool cover show for you guys. To not only, you know, to not only entertain you guys, but to show all these mainstream idiots what's up. To show all these labels up, I will be doing a cover show for you guys full force. So be ready for that. But with that being said, guys, wherever you guys are, I hope you guys are having a good rest of your... I hope you guys are having a good morning. At least a better one than what I'm having, at least. But uh, I will be doing a cover show later on. I love every single one of you guys. You guys are amazing. Just remember, man, keep your head up. Keep going strong. I hope you guys are having a good morning, wherever you guys are at. Love y'all, man. Love the support. Keep rocking, man. And I'll see you guys later within a few hours or so for the cover show. So until then. I'm going to kick back, relax, chill, play some GTA 5 online. You know, maybe just kick it. Maybe work on a few songs. I don't know. I'll see what I'll do. But uh, until then, I'll get y'all later. Peace.